Hey guys, welcome back to another cryptocurrency news article. This one comes from Crypto.News and MasterCard and BitOasis to launch crypto link payment cards in the MENA region. MENA is a up and coming region for cryptocurrencies and all things. And MasterCard is just spreading like a wildfire. The last time they were going to launch a crypto link card payment was with I think it was Binance, and they were doing that in Argentina. I've done a couple of videos on MasterCard recently. Uh, MasterCard sets to launch a new tool to combat fraud. MasterCard exec so the potential to transform the financial industry, and MasterCard and Binance will launch prepaid crypto cards in Argentina. So yeah, MasterCard is killing it with the adoption. They fully believe that it will transform the system's infrastructure, and they're just moving into the areas that are really fully adopting Bitcoin so and other cryptos. So yeah, let's go over this article and see how the MENA region will be next for MasterCard. But BitOasis has teamed with MasterCard to offer a series of cryptocurrency card programs that will enable cryptocurrency payments at e-commerce platforms and physical locations. The crypto card will allow customers to make fiat payments at 90 million global locations. So nice. But BitOasis partners with MasterCard. BitOasis is one of the leading cryptocurrency platforms in the MENA region. A global payments company, MasterCard, have partnered to launch cryptocurrency cards that will enable the use of digital tokens at point-of-sale terminals and across e-commerce platforms. On Tuesday, the two firms announced that BitOasis customers would be able to utilize their cryptocurrency wallet holdings to pay for products and services at more than 90 million merchant locations worldwide. Once regulatory licenses are obtained, the first BitOasis cards are anticipated to hit the market in early 2023. BitOasis customers will receive virtual and physical BitOasis cards through a digital sign-up process on its app, enabling them to conduct physical and online transactions. According to Amna Ajma, MasterCard's Executive Vice President of the Markets Development for Eastern Europe, the Middle East, and Africa consumers seeking a new, fast, and flexible digital experience are driving the adoption of novel payment technology solutions. With this comes a greater ex expectation for businesses to provide multiple ways to shop and pay. Though our collaborations with BitOasis, one of the most innovative crypto platforms in MENA, will enable the consumer experience to be seamless by using their cryptocurrencies in a safe and secure environment. According to the MasterCard and BitOasis, cryptocurrency payments and cash outs are currently considered inconvenient, with the vast majority of retailers refusing to accept such payments directly. So this is why MasterCard and Visa come into play. It's like, a, yeah, selling your having to cash out, it's kind of pointless. So let us be that middleman for you guys. And who knows, like they're probably the ones holding on to the cryptos and adding to their piles, knowing where it's going to go in the future. But transactions utilizing BitOasis cards will be able to take place in fiat currency, adding facilities for dispute resolution and refunds, something that does not currently exist when paying with digital assets, according to the firms. The collaboration will address the concerns while also increasing customer awareness and cryptocurrency acceptance in the region. Ala Dudin, the CEO and co-founder of BitOasis, stated that research tells us that 47% of the Middle East population now believes crypto is the future of money as the largest crypto platform built for the GCC and MENA regions. We are delighted to partner with MasterCard and to enable BitOasis customers to benefit from the convenience of linking their BitOasis wallets to their BitOasis MasterCard crypto cards for use across MasterCard's global merchant network. So yeah, but yeah, growing crypto adoption in MENA region. I wonder if this has a little to do with the Divi project. If you watch my channel, you know that's one of my favorite coins I go over daily. And they have partnerships with La Liga in the MENA region. So every time people are watching a soccer game in this area, they will see Divi project on usually their screens, their football games, and whatnot. So that's been spreading a lot of adoption there. Just people getting eyes on cryptocurrencies, wallets, how to use it. So yeah, MENA is a region to keep an eye on. In March, Dubai became the first city in the region to pass legislation regulating virtual assets in an attempt to present investors with a secure environment while also embracing innovative technologies as interest in its develops. According to a survey released this month by Blockchain Analytics, Platform Chain Analysis, the MENA region has the world's fastest growing cryptocurrency industry, accounting for 9.2% of worldwide digital currency transactions from July 2021 to June 2022. In its 
2022 Global Crypto Adoption Index, Chain Analysis reported that individual investors in the region accepted $566 billion in cryptocurrencies throughout the time, representing a 48% growth annually. The MENA region is abode of three of the top 30 nations in this year's Crypto Adoption Index, including Turkey, which is ranked number 12, Morocco, ranked 14, and Egypt, ranked 24, according to the report. So yeah, so MasterCard is just making it more possible and easier for people to use their cryptocurrencies in this region as well. Because again, some merchants don't want to accept like the straight crypto to crypto transaction. They still want their fiat on the end. MasterCard is just helping that out, making it a little bit easier. It's just our next stepping stool getting closer to full on. Just like, a, okay, I send you this Bitcoin and that's just it. <laughs> no change needed because I just gave you the exact amount. <laughs> but yeah, so that is that news for you. What do you guys think of MasterCard partnering with Bit Oasis? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Are you in the area? Will you use their card? Let me know. I would love to hear your comments in this section down below. But while you're down there, hit that thumbs up for me, subscribe to the channel. And until next time, the Crypto Sherpa is out.